Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Happy 2022. I truly hope this year is going well for everyone. So today is nothing special. I'm at home. I'm literally not going anywhere today, but I wanted to share this current look that I've been rocking. It may look like a normal look. Honestly, I just been really embracing my natural skin, my natural skin. I don't have artificial skin. I've just been embracing my discolorations, my freckles, which I wish were glitter. So basically just really skin like finish type of complexion. Of course, we don't want to miss out on the glowy and dewiness. So today I'm going to share this look with you and the few items that I use to create this look. If you guys haven't already, it would mean the world to me if you guys can subscribe to my channel. I'm inching closer to 1000, which may not be a lot to you. Like my lashes may not be a lot to you guys, but to me using important mascara does lengthen. <laughs> so my subscriber count does mean the world to me. And if you guys haven't already, you guys can follow me on my social. So if you guys want to know the secret to this glowy skin that I created and have been loving as my go-to look, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by putting a headband on just because my hair is like all over the place. My poor dog is like barking at the world out there. Do you guys hear him? Although I showered last night, washed my hair, face is super hydrated and super cleansed. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my cellar water. Now, the reason why I like to use this is because I just like to start with a clean canvas, right? But sometimes, you know, you sleep, it gets hot, a little sweaty. I mean, you could have like lint balls, dust balls on your face, but I just want to like get the excess dirt off the face before actually layering extra products into the skin to clog the pores. And I do like to go over the eyelids, just one little swipe over. As expected, there's a little, little tiny dirt, not too much. I'm actually surprised because there are times when it's a lot dirtier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go under my chin too and sound like a gobbly chicken right now. <laughs> yeah, see, that probably has like the most dirt there. Gross, but yeah. Of course, we need hydration on the lips. So not only does your face and everything Sorry, the battery died. So as I was saying, I need to hydrate my lips. This is like a serum with a plumping formulation in this. So it's really hydrating, again, plumping, and it has like rose gold in this. So it's really nice. I can't even talk right now. I don't know what's wrong with me. So it has like a rose gold tint. So it's gonna make your lips shiny, but very plumping with hyaluronic acid. So I just painted my nails. Don't come for me because I have like little polish left over that I forgot to clean. I guess I'll do it after the video. I was trying to do it before the video. In addition to all my steps for this go-to glowy fresh face look, I normally like to use these little gel eye patches, but I'm not gonna do it today because I had them on yesterday at night, so it's really, really soft. This product is so fun. It's just so cute because there's glitter. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture of when, I think a few days ago I actually wore it, but it's so cute. One of the secrets for my glowy face, it's actually using this moisturizer by Supergoop. This is the every single day moisturizer with SPF 40. I have sworn by this. I've used this for many years. This is actually my last jar of this. So I'm kind of sad because seriously, when you just wear this alone, it's like so glowy. Oh my gosh, I feel my lips tingling. Can you just see how red my lips are? I mean, it's literally like tingling. I mean, it's bearable. It's like all the peppers and the peppermint just raising the blood to the surface of my lips. And it's like so red. Hmm. Since I did the eye patches last night, I'm just gonna go in with a really nice eye cream. So this one here is by Fenty Beauty. It's called the Flash Nap. So I've been using this during the day and I love this stuff so much. I'm not gonna lie. This is my first time trying Fenty Beauty or Fenty Skin and it's actually not bad. And I did not realize how affordable her products are. I literally just got this from my skin fridge. So it's actually very, very cold and it does help with the puffing. In addition to that, it comes with a little metal roller. This stuff is so nice. I just like to roll this back and forth, focus this under the eyes. It 
feels so nice. And yes, this was also in the fridge. <laughs> wow, this just feels so good. I'm gonna put this on my temples because I've been having headaches and migraines. My allergy has just been really, really strong. So this actually feels so good. While the lips are plumping, it's starting to die down. I'm gonna go ahead and just work on my brows and nothing to it, same old stuff. Shaping them, filling in the brows to my desired shape because I like them super even. And if they're not, I'm not gonna have a good day. <laughs> so I'm just gonna speed through this process and you guys can enjoy some music. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice my hair was all crazy here. did my brows a little too strong. I mean, this is still currently one of my go-to looks because my eyebrows are like, it's needed. So for my go-to everyday look, I just like a primer that doesn't have color, just basically something transparent to control oils. And if I decide to wear any eyeshadow, then of course this will protect it. My eyelashes need so much help. I don't have much. However, I've been using this Murat mascara. Again, this has been like my go-to product and I've been loving it. It doesn't over clump my lashes. This does take two coats to satisfy my length needs. <laughs> I actually repurchased a Grande Lash Serum. I used it, I believe back in 2019 and I did the full three months supply. And let me tell you, it really, really did something. I didn't think it was going to make my lashes grow so much. And kid you not, for a while, I wasn't wearing any lashes because it was so good. So I'm going to wait before I apply the second coat and I'm going to wait for these to dry so I can clean it off easier. So in the meantime, I'm going to jump back to the complexion. Now I'm going to use a tinted sunscreen and I use this as a primer too. I mean, I'm not really wearing like full coverage. This is just like a go-to everyday look, but I do like the fact that it's so light, it's glowy, it's so refreshing. I mean, I could just go about my day wearing just this, but I want like a little bit of coverage. Not too much coverage, it's still gonna be skin finish like, but I just love the formulation of this, it's so nice. I love how hydrating my face looks and feels. I mean, you guys know my skin is like dry, so it's like I need that extra like oily looking kind of illusion because it just makes my skin so healthy looking. Now I'm gonna jump in with a foundation. Now I'm not using this foundation as a foundation. I'm literally just gonna spot treat the areas that needs extra coverage, especially like under my eyes. So I'm gonna use this as a concealer as well. I will not be using the whole pump. I'm again, literally just spot treating that needs it the most. And then I'm gonna take my same first brush and just basically buff it out. This foundation also gives a very dewy, luminous finish. You can't go wrong with the luminosity, guys. So now I'm just gonna take whatever's left over here. I'm gonna focus this in the center of my eyes. I don't know where this little dry spot came from, but it's gone. <laughs> so you see my skin is pretty even. It's still skin finish like you can still see my freckles. I mean, you can still see a lot of redness and discoloration going on, which is totally fine. My goal here is just to have a very illuminating, a glowy, fresh face. So I'm gonna go back to the eyes and apply on another coat of mascara. I don't know what's going on with here, but I'm gonna apply a little bit more on. Hopefully this just curls and moves them a little. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay, so now with my brows, I'm just gonna go in with a lighter color. This is by Rare Beauty. I'm just gonna fill in little spots. All right, so brows and complexion has just been my jam lately. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of contouring, but I'm not gonna go as heavy as I normally do. I'm literally just going to have it here and my hairline and then just some shadowing here. I don't wanna bring it too far down to make it seem like I have contour on. I'm gonna use this new product that I've been using. This is by Iconic London. So this actually has two colors and formulation. This is a powder and this is kind of like a creamy kind of finish. So I'm gonna use the creamier bottom part 
and I'm just going to take a brush and just stipple it on. Again, I'm just going to focus this on my temples right here. And I'm going to bring it up to my hairline here, down to my ear and jaw. So basically, it's just like right here. I'm not bringing it down here or to my chin. Same on this side. And this is a nice formulation because it's cream. So it's forgiving. Sometimes with a powder, when it's very pigmented, I get a little carried away and then I have to like really blend it out. But I've really been loving this cream formulation. Another go-to thing I like to do is apply a little bit of bronzer in the crease. So I'm taking the first color here in the same palette or stacks <laughs> and I'm just going to give a little bit of definition just in the crease. This doesn't have any shimmer, it's just a matte bronzer so it's not going to be too heavy. And then I'm bringing the rest up to my brow bones, whatever's left there. Now for my favorite highlighter stick. I normally don't like using creamy products, hence the bronzer and now the stick, but I don't know, <laughs> starting a new trend for myself. This is a glowing stick that I like to apply on just right here. And I bring it up to my brow bones like that. You see that? And then I just take my finger or if you have a sponge, just kind of blend it out and put a little bit right at my temples there, tip of my nose, my cupid's bow. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> the Niners just scored a touchdown. Woo! <laughs> so you see, it's just very glowy. It just reflects off of the light. Now I like these types of highlighter sticks or products because the finish of it, it's like so glowy. There's no there's no chunks of glitter in this. It's just a really soft reflecting light. They actually remind me a lot of Hourglass's um, powders, but this one has like no shimmer at all. Like there's no flakes. It's just a very nice glow. I'm not gonna put any on my forehead because it's pretty glowy there already. So there's no powders involved with this go-to look lately because I don't wanna look too matte. For the lips, I've been using these two as a combination. This is Hourglass's Peacemaker. I think it's a, a older color to be honest. It's just like a nice nude kind of pinky lip And then I top it off with the NARS orgasm Lipstick, it's like a sheery kind of beige color. I love the combination of these two together I mean this color alone looks really pretty this color makes my lips look really full Just gonna slather this on in the center and the last thing I'm gonna apply on is my dewy spray And here is my final look. This is my current go-to makeup, no makeup, or like maybe let's hashtag this like effort, effortless makeup. <laughs> I just been loving the strong brows, the glowy dewy complexion, literally skin finish. There's no full coverage look to it. Again, very glowy and fresh face. As always, I'll put everything down in the info box for you guys. Thanks for watching, and if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!